Justin's not going to like this. But we just got done doing some major planning. He's coming back from the bathroom. It's 1 a.m. I'm just going to set this right here. And we'll see how long it takes for justice. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> Let me just pop You're this on. Right uh, no, oh, uh, we're, we're live internet. There are four. <clears throat> Hi. Well, hey, unfortunately, hey. I cannot what's, get the what's... bottles. I was just going to tell you that. That's all right. Because my manager told me I wouldn't bring them out here. No, that's all right. We'll just we'll just put all these bottles that we actually drink from. I'm sorry. Here. What happened? Nothing. She asked if she wanted it, wanted to take all the bottles. I was like, well, I kind of want them there. She's like, for what? And we're like, oh, we're going to take some pictures. <laughs> and she's like, you want more? And I was like, that sounds like a great idea. And, uh... Are we live? I I didn't say that. <laughs> I'm like, uh, <laughs> um, this is our pro this is our promo photo right here. <laughs> like the shittiest beer <laughs> review podcast. Ever. <laughs> uh, hey, and review all the fucking new brews. Yeah. Uh, so let me explain what uh, what we're up to. <laughs> He's beautiful. Uh, so here's what happened: is Justin and I had a big chit chat about where to set W was headed, and uh... <laughs> why are you laughing? Because now just two dudes talking. <laughs> Oh, okay, do you want to explain how gay we look? I'm going to go to the bathroom and All right, so think about the how gay folks. we were. Uh, you... I'm going to wear my <laughs> jacket as a hat real quick. Uh, we decided uh, to come out here tonight to World of Beer in Cut Creek, Florida. And uh, we wound up spending most of the night talking with Bonnie, the invisible wife. And uh, we, were stand we were sitting at this table right now, but we had two headsets one in my ear, one in his ear, and we spent like a solid hour talking to Bonnie, and we looked like the gay couple who ever gayed a bag of gaydom, ever, uh, just standing here talking to Bonnie with two earbuds, standing, but and we're not, we're outside, it's chilly, like definitely chilly for Brian in a fucking shirt, like I had a jacket, and then I gave him my jacket, making us look only gayer than we had previous. That was basically what happened. Hi, Chat Realm. Uh, I'm Justin Robert Young, and uh, I know Brian Brushedwood has uh, had a fun live streaming, all sorts of fun stuff. But uh, there we go. So, <laughs> if you guys have any questions, feel ask them now, because uh, Brian is inside peeing. I think this chat is going slow. Uh, <laughs> what did I miss? I don't know. I explained to them how gay we looked. Hold on. Hey, give, give me back your hat. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, by the way, when I gave you your fucking jacket, I actually didn't mean it. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's only because I wasn't going to need it while I was in there. Turns out that I'm totally... Look at, look at the word it bleeps out there. <clears throat> All right, so... Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. It, but everyone write the word fucker. Watch this. Everyone will put the word fucker. Totally fine. Uh, but the G-A-Y... Yeah, too gay. Uh, big time. Oh, Gaybos is fine. Just write Gaybo. <laughs> Just write Gaybo. Too Gaybo. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, let's. We got to bring him up to speed. This was, it was a great. Everyone says my cam's upside down. That's not true. Try refresh refreshing. Uh, this but is this chat room's way late, by the way. Well, the, uh, yes, it is. Maybe because. it's because I expect too much from logging from your phone. <laughs> Right. <laughs> and I'm like, no, this is not live. This See, is not live. Now the fucker shows up, so okay. it's like 30 seconds. Um, but I'll tell you what, this is in quality. Like, the high quality looks amazing. Oh, yeah. No, uh, oh, no is, I, I think actually doing the job of streaming is oh my fantastic. God. It, but, it really is. But uh, let's go. For some reason, I'm being <laughs> <laughs> That one clip, I'm so sad that we couldn't put that on NSFW. The cunt flaps one? Cunt flaps, yeah. So good. It was really good. Uh, Bill was like... What were, you, what were you saying? It's like Will was – he was too into the show 
to quite... Are we going into that? Well, I don't know. I mean, I mean, it was just... It was, a... no, it, was, it, was, it was an odd situation because we have never had uh, somebody who was a guest on the show... Who was into the show. That likes the show. Yes, and exactly. Like, it, was, it was Will's... We were Will's, so accustomed. Will's perception we were... of, uh, like, oh, this is what a guest on NSFW should do as a fan. Right, right. right. It, we, unfortunately, we are, we are geared we, toward being like, you have no idea who we are, right. and we feel time. Right. Here we go. We, we are so accustomed to factoring factoring in the fact that, that you're annoyed with us the whole time we're doing it, that it's like to not experience that. To experience someone who actually full-on played ball sort of threw us for a loop. Yes. We're just like... Our, our normal thing is like, okay, any words that come out of the guest's mouth... Like, we want, because they normally don't say a lot. Yes. So we want to be like, oh, there's a reason why you came on here. It was because you're you. Talk more. Right. And with Will, it was like, well, you are certainly talking as much <laughs> as you can. Here, let's, let's, the Allstate building behind us. We, um, I, uh, mainly, let's not have that giant. By the way, can we, can we talk, uh, about, <laughs> totally going to bang the entire how, staff of World of Beer? <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? Who is? <laughs> we could have, easily. Oh my god, okay, so here's the deal. If you want the, the wait staff at World of Beer to hit on you, look as gay as possible. possible. I mean, it's like, okay, can we can we show what we look like? Here, we're going to simulate. <laughs> here, okay, here we go. <clears throat> at some point, we had some I major... wish if you plugged your headsets, we could hear in the chat room talking. I... <laughs> talking all like, uh, like uh, uh, the wheelchair guy. They're like... You know, the wheelchair guy. <laughs> the wheelchair guy. That was a, that's, that was a, that's, a that's a Simpsons quote. Okay. Like, I wish I'd listened to that wheelchair guy. <laughs> All right, this is us. This is us for an extended... It's like, well, the other thing I see NSFW really headed towards... Yeah. Bonnie. Is blah blah blah. I okay, think so we should really get into clothes marketing. Like we should have our own clothes. <laughs> By the way, this is Justin's coat that I'm wearing because I'm bar- and the two of us. Uh, and and as I'm saying this, I'm stealing some of his beer as I yes, pour it in. Exactly. And the Humpty Dance comes on. Humpty, and we start and we wrapping both, it We start together. wrapping it together. Yeah. And then in the middle of all this, we have to interrupt because two extraordinarily attractive girls. Yeah. Who happen to work here? Uh, one. Who had implants? Those anchors, yeah. It was like sternum piercings, yeah. Wait, does that mean she has implants? I don't know. Oh, Wait. no, no. She, no they, she called them implants. I know. In the but, anchors, like, yeah. you know, you say you implants. I don't know. I don't know. Her tits like... The, you're apparently the... No, no. I, I, actually, I actually think... I, I think once you're over 30, you start to notice what yeah. are real and what aren't. Uh, I think her tits... But uh, just about everyone else in there are all fake. And in fact, I'm kind of tempted to go, like... You're a big dudes. <laughs> Actually, big let, dude police. Let, let me do this. Let me do this. I'm I'm gonna take the camera in there and I'll be like, Hey guys, no, stop it. You're no, not. No, no. And you're I'll not. just I'll, I actually I'll just, live here. I'll just pan over there. I live here. No, no, but stop they're not gonna it. know. Not. They're never gonna. You're not. But the chat room would. They would totally. Of course. They the would agree room. with me. They would be like, Yes, no, yes, you're no. Not fucking, they would you're argue. not. You're not gonna get a good look. You're gonna fucking walk over there and fucking skim. Dude, when they're like above her shoulders, that means they're probably not natural. They weren't above. I mean, listen, the bartender. I they will be when I push. <laughs> Hold them up like I'm some piece of architecture. <laughs> like I'm Atlas. No, that's my lawn life. Open. That's my, my lawn life. I don't know why I'm still wearing these. <laughs> it's like I'm Atlas, and my lawn is like I have two gigantic hooters on each side that I hold above my shoulder. <laughs> and you're looking down like it's your lawn life. <laughs> I look down with massive regret and shame. By the way, this Diamond Club uh, edition is brought to you by World of Beer. Again, World of Beer, Coconut Creek, Florida. Come on down and visit. Yeah, uh, which both of us, uh, this is a walk down Nostalgia Lane. You're drinking Warks. Warka. Warka. Warka, Warka, Warka. <laughs> You just think that. You just think that we've been that. Come on, dude. <laughs> work, a work, a work. What? By the way, the girl that was in and got us is singing now. Oh, oh she's I, singing. I love to love cock. <laughs> <laughs> How am I two bagging the fucking Warka? And the other one is because I pre away. Because I pre gamed with like five Miller lights <laughs> <laughs> driving. <laughs> Plus, did you miss the part where I poured half of one of your beers into my point? <laughs> okay. Um, 
Whereas by the I, way, by the way, the new Diamond Club signal is this. It's not this. It's not this. It's this. We were tempted to go with this because it looks so like, but uh, yeah. this is But more... Jay-Z's got this. Yeah. So we got this. I'm, I'm no tempted to this. make it overcomplicated with an inverted up and down. I'll tell you what, if you have Diamond Club, you do that. If you're fucking just regular Diamond Club. If you're new to Diamond Club, you do this. And now we've linked arms. <laughs> okay. And then we're two guys hugging. <laughs> uh, so we're... We're just two guys drinking beers outside, and like eight people come up and ask us if we smoke. Yes, and we're like, and we're like, is no, no. a totally accurate assumption for them. Because because we're outside, outside and in it's the kind cold. of cold. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and we're like, no, dude, we don't, we don't. We don't. We're just two gentlemen sitting. What the heck? Um, just wants to let us know we're not welcome. <laughs> That's right. Shake, shake, shake. shake. Uh, and so um, then all of a sudden, a two set walks over. Yeah, and full on. It's just like, hey, like, what was their... Well, what the was one, their... Was, one was, like, kind of, like, and she, like, was super drunk when we walked in. But the one walks over, and she's like, hey, how are you doing? And then the other friend was like, oh, my oh, God, Crystal, stop it. You're, you're so drunk. Me. I anyway, can't believe that. Anyway, hi, how are you? And so, and so they come full on approaching us, and we're just two gentlemen, you know, sitting okay, outside no, in the cold. Okay, no, Brian is not driving. I am driving. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally... I, I said I'm not driving. No, I know. For some reason, they're like, and this is 30 minutes, and maybe they fucking haven't done that. It doesn't matter. This is the only beer I've had tonight, and so that's why I'm driving. So, the important thing was that two set walks over and approaches us, and the first words out of your mouth, because you're so ashamed to be sharing earbuds with another guy. So I, I was just pointing it out. Okay. I thought it was you're funny. Like, oh, hi. We're just both talking to Brian's wife, Bonnie. <laughs> And, uh, well, here's the thing, is that initially, they didn't, like, here's how low oh, my self-esteem is. Did you not realize they were coming on? No, us? I didn't. Really? I thought it was just fucking the random, like, uh, like in, in my first impression, like, I'm only, I'm, like, from my gut, fucking, like, you know, like, oh, hey, what's the funniest joke I can tell? Do a random drunk bitch coming over. And right, you're, you're like, 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 it's like, oh, it's yeah, a vet, it's a taco block. No, no, not really, <laughs> no. <laughs> With the virtual taco <laughs> to be honest, not even here. To be honest, like, fucking... I was not even thinking about, like, any kind of element like that. It was just You were that, thinking like, about ground beef? No. Or tomato. <laughs> or picante or sauce? sour cream? You were not thinking of any element. I certainly hope I wasn't thinking about sour cream. Um, you're, like, you're, like, you're like, oh, you will not have a child from that. It is sour cream. <laughs> um, so, here's the deal. Uh, <laughs> I was more just thinking of, like, what's <laughs> the funniest possible... Because, by the way, as we've talked before, like, the, the, the funny part of jokes are the details. Of course. And so it's like, oh, no, 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 we're just two dudes sharing earbuds, talking to his wife is the funnier element than, like, oh, no, we're just talking to you on the phone. Like, and then immediately after they said, you down, said, why if we're not having a four-way, are we? <laughs> <laughs> Like, if this hits you all at once, we're like, we couldn't have been an SFW well, orgy. Well, no, because fucking, it was, wasn't was until the one girl was like, Crystal, stop, you're embarrassing me. How are you? And I was like, oh, I know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> it's a taco. <laughs> um, but she had implants because she didn't. Why are they screaming in there? She's singing. The girl I'm right now is singing inside. <laughs> sorry. Please don't tell her I said that. Um, it sounds like screaming. Do you guys want to see? No, she's definitely singing. Okay. Um, uh, but the other girl, I didn't know this is something they did. Like, it looked like she would be wearing a necklace. Yeah. Have you ever seen that before? Yeah, sternum piercings. Yeah. I've not yeah. seen the sternum piercings before. Yeah. But she had implants like, like diamond, diamond. And it's just like, and she had a low cut thing. And it's like... It was like daring you. It was not to look at her. Gym. Exactly. It's like I'm sorry. Look. It's like look. I understand that we're, you're not <laughs> supposed to see me staring at your chest, but it's like you're just daring me. You got sparkly thing that are magically levitating because you pierced your chest to say, "Please look at my awesome rocking tits." <laughs> you were definitely saying this so loud while she's oh, you can't the glass they can't, away. They can't we hear. can hear her. We don't. And we're talking as loud as she's singing. But but you, no no way, dude. I I'm pretty sure she. Over okay, here, everyone's is... former. You naturally project, and so am I. And I naturally Hark! project. <laughs> what manner tits are these? Suspendeth they oh, are. Imbalance. 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 Imbalance
<laughs> we are right now in a valley between <laughs> two buildings. And everything we say is. Hark echoes. the bejeweled sternum scene. You don't live here. I do. <laughs> what is this? What is I this? come here every once in a while. You sneak in, you come in, you're like, you the one with the guy who was singing the poetry? You the one with the poetry? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, no, it's my it's my buddy, it's my partner, my my co host. Like, oh, is that what you guys are calling in now? Co host? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Host is dick in your ass. Shit, man. <laughs> oh my god. Whoa. 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 Okay. 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 Alright, so answer me this. Um, what if gay dudes always referred to their partners as co-host from now on? Would that be good or bad? For who? Straights or gays? Uh, I don't know. (laughs) Just good in general. For whom? Who would it be good for and why? I would, I mean, it would probably be better, I mean, because like, alright, you're walking two different paths here, which is why I asked. Because like, if it's for gay dudes... Like, you want to... The ultimate goal is for... Lots of cock. Well, yes. <laughs> the but ultimate no, goal no more, no more, by, the way, by the way, they've solved that. <laughs> it's called I mean, the... Like, I don't and even fucking understand. cocks on demand. But by the way, like, imagine you and fucking... And, like, for any guy who's watching this, and it's the internet, so it's 90% of you. Um, actual guy, rather. Like, imagine there was everything that you fucking wanted to do sexually... That, like, the fact that women stood in the way of, like, oh, I don't like it when you fucking wear flip-flops and fucking don't have a job. Like, I don't like fucking, it when you're busy sucking cock and having sex with other saying, men. I'm just saying, no, 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 because fucking, here's the deal. Like, imagine you eliminate women from that equation. And, like, if you were to fucking say to your buddy, like, like, yeah, you know, fuck, yeah, what the fuck. Right. Boom, fucking right there. Yeah. You've eliminated everything. That's why the internet for gays is, is perfect. Like, you know, all you do is be like, hey, listen, I like sucking cock, you like sucking cock? It's like, like fucking finding golf buddies. But uh, there was some survey, and I don't know enough about, uh, I don't know, I mean, I guess I know a few gay dudes, but it's like, I don't, I don't even feel good asking them about this, but it's like, one of the, that, one of the surveys, they like, have you ever, like, actively hated someone who you were fucking, or it's just like, you're like, I really don't like you, but it's like, I just want to come real bad. Like, have you ever hate fucked anybody? I've only... It's me and Monty, bro. Like, your entire life? Uh, I mean, I what had... Are you a fucking Christ camp? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, like, like I only had, like, three relationships before Bonnie, and then I was... Bonnie and I started dating, I was 20. Jesus. Yeah. yeah. He's like, I, I had a little bit of adventure. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, not not enough for me to be all... Not enough for me to experience the joy of hate Hate fucking. <laughs> Hate fucking. I've only hate fuck somebody once. And it oh wasn't, my god! It you wasn't, actually have. Yeah, I have. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't somebody that I actually hated. I just always didn't like her. She didn't like. Like we were active yeah, in our dislike for each other. But you know, like, like did that turned both of you. Like, oh, I just think you're hideous. No, you're like, no, oh, no. I think you're so tiny. It was just one of those things where it was like one night where we. It was like it was a very strange group. It was like me, her, and then like my roommate Bernie at the time, and so you're doing another like dude. I did it like Bernie. <laughs> you did it like Bernie. Uh, I did it like Bernie for a couple of years. Pretty so funny. it's like you actually, you actually got blotto drunk, <laughs> just trying to flopped around on people. Like it was, uh, and my buddy Ryan, and like we had never hung out together. The four of us had like never hung out together, but for some reason that one night we had like a great time. The conversation was excellent. Like fucking, we you all. You and Bernie. Me, Bernie. This girl, whose name I won't say, because you're at the Diamond Club and you'll find her in fucking her Facebook wall, um, and my buddy Ryan, and for some reason, like, the four of us who had never hung out before, like, we all got along famous for one night, one magical night, and then it the ended... Did you did it? Stop it. Well, no. You... No. All right, so we go... Uh, me and Bernie go back to the place, and we bring <laughs> like beer Bernie. back, and... Uh, cause like the, things are going so f- great. Like we're all having a good time. We're like, Hey, you know, the bar's closing. You don't, you don't have that on that dad. Let's go back to my place. So fucking we all, and since three of us live at the same, or like the, me and Bernie live at the same place and fucking she's coming along. Uh, Ryan goes home and then fucking at some point she looks over to me. <laughs> go ahead. She looks at me and she's like, you know, I'm not going right. And I'm like. It, and this is a lie. I'm like, of course not. <laughs> yeah. And what you meant was, I, 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 I got a Ziploc baggie when I went as a condom. 
So we wind up fucking banging, and it's like pretty good. And it's like the whole time I'm but like, I you, but you said you get along, got along famously. You didn't like her though. Oh no 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 no! That's the thing. That was but was so weird about it. it was like from the beginning of the night. Like I never like she dated a friend of mine. Was a total psychotic with him and like fucking like we had always kind of had this like sort of like I don't trust you, you don't trust me, and kind of fucking back and forth. And uh, for some reason, like that night, like we fucking like it was just so weird that like the four of us were number one hanging out, number two having a really 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 good time. That like it just glossed over every other element of weirdness. And then at the end, she's like, yo, you know, we're fucking. And I'm like, but yes, of course. That's how <laughs> tonight ends. We're like, we're like, we're like and that was my band. And, and so what happened afterwards? How does the hate wake up go? Like, it was just so weird. Like, it never stopped being so fascinatingly weird. Like, I'm fucking like, it's like, wow, this is so weird that we're doing this. I don't like you at all. And then, like, you know, and then we talk about the next day. We're like, yeah, no, like, we really don't either, at any level, but... Like we fucked, and but you have effective communication, and that's what important. That's what's <laughs> well, important. That's what I in learned. A good sexual we fucked, experience. We fucked like another like, fucking like couple days later. She was like, because it was a weird thing where, uh, it was like we didn't fucking like there wasn't any relationship to salvage. Yeah, it was just like, hey, you want to go like get a couple beers and bang? And I was like, yes, I would. <laughs> Like, what stakes to shit? Like, right, you can right, ask right, all right. sorts of crazy nonsense. Yeah. And it definitely did. And then it stopped after that. But fucking, yeah, no, it was definitely something where... Yeah, fucking... I'd say that a lot, actually. Do you? Because like, they're both, they're both <clears throat> verbal crutches for me. Where I'll go, but... And then, like, I'll say fucking as, like, a time saver yeah. before... I think it was. Yeah, but you also said it just after you said, when you have no entanglements, you can ask for all sorts of crazy <laughs> shit. But fucking... <laughs> I Diamond did. Club, By the way, I didn't ask for that. Diamond but Club. But I should have. I wonder. <laughs> I didn't get her hate pregnant. By All the right, way. what's what's the? In which case, you just have an angry like. <laughs> kid comes out like, I'm just so far the problem. Come to her vag and punches the. I'm stomach. not a love child. I'm a hate. Child. I'm a hate baby. Uh, what do you? Uh, hmm. What do you think the over under? When it comes to, but, fucking, uh, is on what? I'm waiting to hear you <laughs> say. What do you think the over under is like on pre-planned versus unplanned? Like discussed beforehand. Like let's give it a go. Versus Surprise. yeah, yeah. Versus like oh, so this is what we're headed. Because <laughs> in my imagination, Mrs. Doubtfire is getting butt fucked. <laughs> butt fucked would solve this problem, not cause it. Uh, here's, <laughs> okay, all right, but here, here's the important, um, by unplanned, are we counting people who are in committed relationships or married who, let's, we'll separate categories, right? There are, uh, there are, uh, individuals who are single. Randoms fucking. Who are hooked up, right? <clears throat> yeah. yeah. And then there, and then also among committed, not and, necessarily and by, married, by, by, but by committed, we mean fucking cohabitating. Well, I don't know. I I don't care about cohabitating or not. I mean, okay, but like you, you're. It's like, hey, you and me, and if you cheat on me, that'll be bad. Because to me, the the the, the demo. Wait, so the, 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 wait, the, so the, if you the, live the demo, in the same house, you're more inclined or less inclined. I would say the demo that <clears throat> to me would flip the over under is couples living together that um, assess them. What do you mean? Let's bring them over here. Put on the headphones, quick. Pretend, pretend are gay. I'm not putting on the headphones. You're not gonna, you're not gonna force gay me. Are you afraid we'll have a hate baby? <laughs> um. What? I don't think we could stay out here, by the way. You don't? No, because we got kicked out. Remember the last time when we got the six pack? Yep, remember we, got we had to go over there. Well, no, because we couldn't. We let's couldn't just drink see what here. happens, bro. Let's You're going to wait until we get fucking kicked out? I have to live in this town. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> see, maybe, that, maybe that's what messes up for me. It's like I, I never have to live there. You 
No, you don't. <laughs> That's not the point I'm illustrating. I know. Like, you need more dairy? You know? Yes! There's no steaks for you. Maybe they should adjust. This might as well be Sheboygan. <laughs> Maybe they should adjust the over-under on our previous bet. <laughs> Maybe I'll be in a different town. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no. The demo for me that would flip it would be couples that are living together, aren't but, married, or... But fucking aren't. No, if they're butt-fucking, they're, they're out. <laughs> but they want, uh, you know, like, if they have a kid, it's like, oh, of course, we'll keep it, yada, yada. Uh, you want to know what? I'll tell you what. Scratch that. I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to unplan, unplan's way over. Unplanned's way over. Unplanned is way over. Oh, yeah. If you, if you we're kind of, right? What are you talking about? I'm talking about... <laughs> Discussed beforehand butt sex. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? I thought we were talking about kids. <laughs> Why would we talk about kids? I don't know. <laughs> we were talking about butt sex. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I was so confused. You were, like, you were like, you're like, no, they have to live together. And I'm like, you are talking about planned or unplanned? Like, <laughs> no, like, this guy's more like... Do no, you no, 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 right before somebody said, oh, you got her hate pregnant. Oh, and okay. then you were like, I wonder what the ratio no, is. I, it's no. Planned or unplanned. Then I'm like, what, pregnant? No, and, we were talking about butt, you said butt fucking. Hey, but like, I also said right. pregnant. No, okay. <laughs> After I say butt Sorry, right. but butt fu- what is the ratio of planned babies that came from butt fucking? That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> no, in terms of butt fucking, oh, I think it's I think it's way fucking planned because girls do not, really girls don't fucking they don't. Well, see here handle that shit well. <laughs> well, but that's just it. Is like uh, uh, this one when I was working at a call center, uh, this one guy was just like, man, this one girl. I was just like, I had a hard time. Man, we were halfway through doing it, and I realized so it was the wrong like hole. Like, and, uh, and she was just letting it happen, and I was and I wonder how often like that. I don't know. Because it seems to me like it takes a... I mean, I don't know. All I know is that fucking... And... <laughs> Jesus fucking... <laughs> Diamonds are forever, club. <laughs> Diamonds are for never. Please don't. Uh, this is nowhere. <clears throat> I've been in, 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 in situations where fucking... I've hovered around, like, that area, like, by accident... Like, like, I mean, listen, it's not far away, so, fucking, like, shit it's has gotten... two degrees separation. I've gotten, I've gotten, yeah, it's only an inch. And a, it's two, <laughs> two degrees warmer, I'm told, too. <laughs> oh. And listen, and pussies ain't assholes, because pussies are an inch and a half away from assholes. <laughs> and assholes uh, shit on everything. Yes. And dick <laughs> pussies, but, but dicks also, also fuck assholes. <laughs> Uh, which, by the way, is the the reason why Matt Stone and Trey Parker are the Mark Twain of our generation. Oh my God! Is because of that movie and that, and that monologue. Let's ask, let's ask him who knows the dirty and we'll make him famous. Do you want to go fucking you go? No, I don't want to be. I don't know. I just want. I don't want to do it against your will. Partners, <laughs> we're close. <laughs> Here's your jacket back. <laughs> He <laughs> came out as my co-host three years ago. I mean, like, he was a he was a guest a few times. He came over to my place. Did he sort of guested? <laughs> and man, was so fucking good. Yeah, but we fucking... co-hosted the shit out of that show. Uh, all right, so here's the thing. Uh, anyway, when when I when I've gotten in in proximity, presenters have gone off, and I've gotten fucking like no, <laughs> it was like slow motion, was like no. <laughs> And like I wouldn't even try. I can imagine if I was like, it's like, oh no, baby, come on. Yeah, but what if like she was like, do you think occasionally, like secretly, one of them just like, you know, one of these days I want to, and then she's like, no, no, please don't. One, a little to one, the left. One, one girl. One girl in the world. What, no, that I that I had sex with. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. I think that would probably be true. God damn, I can't believe what we're fucking talking about. Diamond this. Club, bro. Diamond Club. <laughs> He's not like. Uh, Alright, there was one that had a fondness for this finger. None of the other fingers. Fuck sometimes, those other sometimes this. <laughs> Fuck those other fingers. The other fingers, not so much. That's right. overkill. <laughs> not this quick, that's overkill. <laughs> this quick? What? 
sex serum? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Or not, not pancakes. What is it called? You're like, I don't know. Hey, my angel mama serum. Name a piss It was one chick that has a proclivity for this fist. <laughs> Never <laughs> go live? No. That's, that's the challenge. I want to see how big an audience you can build, build on Justin TV with, with specifically. Never ever telling anyone. So I just restarted the stream. Diamond boobed. I don't know what that means. Diamonds are forever. Oh, they say we're back, and we're back. Diamonds are there, and so that's the freakiest thing I like to do with my <laughs> wife. Oh, did we miss it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess Lord. we'll never discuss it again. Nor will I discuss the names and addresses of my last four sexual partners. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, so here's the thing. What I thought was interesting. Why are you God? Oh no, because I'm I'm uh, I'm I'm JJ Abrams lens flaring the shit out of life. <laughs> Get over here, Scoot. Right, there you go. Are they going to the casino? Do you see? Do you see that? That fucking that whole hoe train. Are they going to the casino? Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna be like fucking oh shit that motherfucker I was trying to fuck that fuck with the giant hand. <laughs> his hand is big as a play. His hands that big in real life. Of fucking, I mean, it's like that's like one of your promo shots. So like. Well, yeah. I, why do I have to take a picture of it? I've got. Well, because it's, it's a like cool fucking like hey at the Coconut Creek Casino and it's like it's only because like like in bar your hand looks even bigger. Yeah, because it's busting out of the star. Yeah. It's like, I will pilot my handcraft through the stars. <laughs> <laughs> and I will conquer alien By races. By the way, can I fucking, uh, can I let everyone know that, uh, uh, you should all subscribe to audible.com and fucking get Judas and Chase. Oh my like, god, are you loving it or what? Oh my god, I've dropped all my podcasts. I don't listen to fucking any podcasts. Dude, uh, for a year, I dropped everything. I'm going back at like, remember last night when I said about uh, Skeptoid? That's because I haven't listened to Skeptoid since we did fucking Dragon Con. Oh really? Like, like, like I've done nothing but Peter F. Hamilton shit. All that whole time. Use promo code Diamond Club <laughs> at audiblepodcast.com. Don't know if it'll work. Just see what happens. By the way, I had a thought for yeah. Dragon Con. All right, go on. Because, and this is this is getting this is getting a little deep. I'm gonna put some shit from the backstage to the front of the stage for this. But the Diamond Club. Go ahead. Uh, I'm at Dragon Con. I might I might have mentioned it, but um, uh, Brian was brought on as a a person for Dragon, oh, Con, and my application was rejected. And I think that the reason why. Was because you did a show. You offered to do a show uh, at Dragon Con. And, you know, it wasn't like you were just doing NSMW like I was doing. You were doing more for them. And so they justified it as, okay, here's more program for us. So he, you know, he gets to be the person, you know, he is the person that is credentialed. And the other guy who's just saying he's going to talk during a panel uh, is not. Okay. Yes, that's what it was. It's like 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 my list of to dos was uh, do NSFW live, do podcasting, you know, skepticism live, do some other skeptic thing th live. Well, but no, no, they they booked you once you were a guest. Do uh, right, right, and then also and then also do higher hour and change full yes. stage show. Yes, blah blah blah, all those things and NSFW and blah blah blah, uh, and then <clears throat> and then they're like you know, and of course we'll. And then Justin's list of to dos was NSFW. Basically, it was like the way that it was explained to us initially was like from Dragon Con was like we would love to have you at Dragon Con. Wait, and no, then, no, 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 no. In his defense, he said I would love to have you at Dragon Con, and I got I think I've got NSFW on the calendar. And then and then you were like, all right, so where's my free pass? And he's just like. Yeah. Yes, because yeah. apparently that's very to do. It's a big deal about who gets free passes and does. Because everybody wants free passes. I'm sure everyone who like it's a like, very, it's an extreme. Well, I moved is, some it is, posters. It is, it is Comic Con East. Yes. It is. Yes. It is a gigantic, gigantic. But but last deal. time it was it was like it was a huge boner kill. It was well, a, it was uh, a huge taco wither. That you, I'm, no, I'm no, no more buzz kill, no more boner kill. It's taco wither. Taco wither. Because I want to make, yes. or no, no, or taco drought. That's what it is. Like taco, 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 taco implosion. It's a, it's a taco shrivel. It was a taco pucker. Is what it was. <laughs> a taco it was, pucker. It's a huge. It was. It was, it was the, a massive pucker. It was the bums mumble. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, baby, do it. 
<laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> By the way, new interpretation. When every time I say the bums mumble, <laughs> I'm gonna picture a grumbly fart. That's, <laughs> that's like it's my bum mumbling. Where is <laughs> your <my> bums mumble? <laughs> it's the bums mumble. Uh, all right. So, so I think you have realized because you are a seasoned performer. Uh, was that like in my application? I need to give them. 50 million reasons why they're weird not to give me a million a pass, dollars. You know. But you will settle and, for and a mine, pass. And mine, like, was like, well, you asked me to do NSFW. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Where's my pass, bitches? I'm about to do some bum mumbling. Yeah. If you don't give me that fucking pass. Because that's what I, I, did, I did not, and it, it, was, it was to my, to my fucking... Joker, <laughs> okay, can I just show everyone who else is here with us? Jack shit. It's a, it might as well be. It's basically fucking uh, Universal Studios fucking, like, after it's done. This <laughs> is the greatest thing ever. We, look at all. We just got, we're just two jag -offs. The place is closed. Everyone's left. They're like, y'all do your drinkings. Y'all want to watch me? <laughs> <laughs> so here's my thought. All right. So the bums mumble. So the uh, podcast. The same, the same awesome gentleman who uh, asked us there last year is again involved with the uh, Dragon Con booking, podcasting wise, and wants to bring NSFW as well as weird things. Now, here's my thought. What if, either together or separate, we offered a show or shows for which. Because uh, if, if it's weird things, Andrew Main. Oh shit! It. This would be great. Do a combo show with me and Andrew Main performing live. And guess who MCs? Uh, stand up. Oh fuck! Are we talking jury stand up? I work on a stand up set from now until Dragon Con. So what's fucking stormtroopers? Right? It's hard to fuck them with the armor on. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta get me close to reality. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's pretty much your goddamn act. Uh, all right, that would be awesome. First of all, um, second of all, I love the idea of of the three of us throwing something together, especially because like I did my whole show last year. Yes. And they're like, "We'll come back and do it again. That'll be fine." I'm like, "That's what I was thinking." I want to be the guy that comes back and does the exact same show the second time. But. If you did a part of your show, and Andrew's all new, and I'm all new, and we yeah. offered the fucking... Then they'll be like, you know what the best part was? Was that guy who we saw last year. <laughs> <laughs> His stuff I, I understood. <laughs> um, I think it was a great idea. It, it, but fucking extravaganza. Because I don't know. They fucking... I, I wound up listening to... Did you wind up listening to my old stand-up thing that I put out there? Uh, I did. Because it's not good. <laughs> I I didn't want I didn't want to say well okay first well, of all I mean like you gotta understand very early stand you gotta understand that my whole setup on that was like it was like dude you gotta listen to Jerry Stand because I saw I, I saw I saw you ask for it and then you mentioned nothing about it well well because it was like is the greatest thing ever is the greatest thing ever is the greatest thing ever it's so nice and and it's like first of all it's it's certainly not bad but it's certainly it's certainly material that somebody's developed. You know, it's certainly somebody who is at a different stage of their comedy growth than yes. they are now. Yes, and absolutely. I've heard you, I can tell you've grown, because I've heard you act, make fun of some of the exact same things you did in yes. that comedy act, right? Absolutely. Yeah, no, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Uh, you want to ask them? What? Hey. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Um, yeah, no, it, it's not good. And, awesome. uh, world of beer is the greatest place on the planet. <laughs> it's the whole world. Nobody it gives itself. a good. First, I got beer from Venezuela. That's awesome. Second of all, um, nobody gives a rat's ass that we're hobos drinking <laughs> in the middle of a street. And, and we're podcasting. Come on. Uh, yeah, no, you wonder what actually someone said it's a much higher pitched jury end up. For some reason, and I believe it, it happened. Voice. No, for real. Like there was a point in my uh, in my to be early twenties. It actually came back. It actually happened around the time that that game was <laughs> uh, But I was uh, was in my early to mid twenties, and I started smoking cigars. 
but cigars. And, like, my voice way lower. And, like, I don't know whether it was because of the cigars or because of fucking get whatever. Radios. All I know is that, like, when I went to go visit my friends from college, and they were like, I'm, like, yelling at a club all they night? Just, <laughs> is there a reason why your voice is so low? Get ready to pucker them tacos. <laughs> Here comes the bums mumble. <laughs> that was the name of your original podcast. <laughs> By the way, here comes mumble. <laughs> you say I, I swear you to God, <laughs> swear to bums mumble. <laughs> you say it in reverse order, like you up, you fart first, and then you're like, here comes the bums mumble. <laughs> you're like, wait, that wasn't what. <laughs> and so it's like you try to cover it by my by my my. <laughs> and Jace the meanie like you didn't mean the part <laughs> that makes no sense you have to play Nicole Aaron point FYI <laughs> no I totally have but then, like, I'll explain it later <laughs> <laughs> it's like the idea it's like the bums mumble is a fart right but you always screw it up by farting and then saying here comes the bums mumble but then they're like wait I thought you just farted Try to cover it up and be like, yeah. no, I mean, here it comes. <laughs> um, all right, do you think, how many signatures do you think we need on an online petition to get me, you, and Andrew credentialed for Three. fucking Dragon Con if we said, like, a hour and a half extravagant of magic and comedy from the three of us. All right, now here's here's what you really need to evaluate is not how many signatures we need to get a position from Dragon Con. Uh, none you'd have to evaluate, first of all, whether or not you can get press credentials from Twit, because you can say, hey, man, I was part of your awesome coverage last year, and I can be this year, and I'll cost you nothing, because I'll sleep on Brian's floor again. Yeah. Although, although what I'll really do is I'll say I'll sleep on the floor, but I will sleep right with Chad. <laughs> <laughs> that actually happened. Uh, Chad offered his bed, <laughs> for, for the record. <laughs> I was ready to sleep on the floor. Yeah, and every night before I went to sleep, we heard, Chad, here comes the bum. <laughs> and then I farted on his face. Because that's how great. I said, thanks for sharing your bed, asshole. <laughs> here comes the bum's mumble. So, uh, so here's what I'm saying. Like, you can get your credentials no problem through to it. Uh, second of all, um, <laughs> I don't. I, I can't wait. Can I be honest? I don't want it from Twin. What from Dragon Gun? Oh, oh, it's a war for you. Like, <laughs> like I did, I did, I did, I did, I did one show for them that was very, 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 very popular, and I fucking was there on the largesse of my friend. Like, I, I, I don't blame anybody personally, but maybe it's even just like a personal goal. But it's like I feel like I did. I did something for Dragon Gun that's gonna get them fucking people who are going to pay next year to come to their fucking shit. All right, all right. So let me just say it. First of all, you can get credentials and you can be a baby of where they come from, but uh, <clears throat> you gotta. I'll go. Listen, I will go no matter what. All right, right. No, no, no. But, is, but, is there something wrong with there being a personal goal for no, me to no, get no, a credential? No, I, I, no, I think it's. Do you not think good. I will? I, I think you will. I think you will. But I'm saying, like, for purposes of a battle plan. Let's factor out you needing credentials because you can get them through Twit, and I'm not worried about that. But the question is Andrew, right? Because it's a factor. Um, which is which will be more difficult to get enough signatures on a petition to get DragonCon to give them Andrew credentials, a credential. or to just say, "Hey, man, we'd like to buy Andrew credentials." No, 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 no. And then and then and then freaking everyone throws in two dollars. No, I mean, because number one, Andrew fucking ran the James Randi Foundation thing. Like, they have a gigantic well, septic trap Well, then who are you worried thing. about credentials? Okay, so it's not enough that... Okay, so you're not worried about Andrew getting credentials. not worried about me getting credentials. You're worried about you getting credentials, but it can't be from Twit. And I ain't paying for credentials. No, 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 no. Number one, you're the one Wait, who is... Wait, I've, 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 I've just got a want, plus one anyway. I just want to do... That's how we did it last time. I would like to do... Number one, I would like to get up and do part of the show. I would like to do stand-up, listening to stand-up, and fucking, the biggest thing in, in, in doing the Vincent 404 thing, and I gave him my old stand-up, so I listened back to it, and it was, just, it was like, recognizing all the things that I hated about it, mm -hmm. like, and then, like, finding, like, like, two or three lines inside there that I was like, 
wow, that was fucking, that was pretty funny. Like, I fucking... Hitler in a hammock? Well, no, Hitler in a hammock I actually still like. I, li- I like that whole, that whole joke. I really, really like. There was fucking two or three things, and I mentioned in the Vincent 404, and by the way, if you want to go, my so-called ape at life, my episode with Vincent 404, I mentioned that, like, there is an element in that stand-up that, like, is the reason, like, I actually really like doing NSMW with you. Okay. Is, is that, like... Something I didn't realize then, but now, whereas, like, so much of the funniest I can be is the super quick, like, I'm, tra- the, yeah, yeah, I'm trying mm. to recover off the cuff kind of stuff. And now, that, like, 90%, that is 100% so of what So what you want is w. not one, but two jackass magicians to fart around and have you have opportunities to fear failed humor. No. No, no. That's, that was me. That was an attempt at being self-deprecated. <laughs> All right, take two. Let's pretend. And I just kind of accused me of being a vulture for which I was <laughs> yeah. just picking my friend's insecurity. All right, well, okay, now you saved it. See? Case in point. This is NSFW. I fail, and you create triumph out of failure. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, uh, so, anyway, no. I mean, like, for me, it would be it would be very, very, very uh, – it would, number one, be a goal for me. To if I could, at at the you know at, at a point be booked for something that I could work toward. Yes, I would. I would very 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 much enjoy that. Uh, and and I don't know. I mean, like I feel like I, I really 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 I, I want to do a good show at Dragon Con no matter what because I love Dragon Con. But you know, I, I would like to be recognized. Like I'm trying to really really do a good show for Dragon Con. I'm down with that. You know. Uh, let me say a few things. First of all, World of Beer is the greatest place on the pl- face of the planet. Second of all, I am going to go film Riot with Ryan Connolly tomorrow, which should be fun. Uh, third of all, we're going to try to squeeze in NSFW on Tuesday. After Coke Week, we had a bunch of people come out. Oh, a magician okay. came out and totally blew my mind with a trick that I want to put on uh, on Scan School. School. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, and uh, there was a couple of people. It's funny because I've gotten to where I can kind of recognize the scam school fans yeah. because they're not toting oxygen tanks and walking with their paychecks. Yes, <laughs> that's a good. <laughs> and then uh, first hint. <laughs> <laughs> they fit the demo, and plus, like they're looking at me. I'm talking, and they're paying attention. Not like, like this, like, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good impression they were doing. But um, uh, so after that, we'll do NSFW. What are we gonna do tomorrow? Should we our big guest. Yeah, we should. Lady motherfucking Gaga. Yep. She's coming on. She's going to come to my warehouse. <laughs> and, right. then we're, and then we're going to rape her. <laughs> Whoa, we can't promise rape on the show now? Whoa. Okay, okay. So you want b we're going to be a baby about how we get them? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the last episode ever of Diamond Club. <laughs> wow. And then this shit just fucking explodes. Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, Read this. So, yeah. We're going to have Melissa. Right. <laughs> yeah, take everything Justin just said and apply it to Melissa. How does it sound now? I think we are going fucking through a... We're trying to book a lecture tour for Andrew through Cleveland. Oh, she's interesting. I would love to meet Melissa. That'd be awesome. Don't give me that look. I'm not trying to fuck Melissa. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not judging. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> hold on, bro. <laughs> hey, man, it's bro's face. It's Diamond Club. <laughs> I mean, I won't, I won't warn her. <laughs> By the way, Justin's coming in. He's coming in heavy. <laughs> You're like, what does that mean? <laughs> like, protect your butt. You're the one who's fucking obsessed. I'm sorry, you're saying what? (laughs) (laughs) You were explaining what? Because I heard you say, oh man, now I got a pee. And then there was a thoughtful pause, and you said, well, there's that dumpster over there. And I said, are you really going to pee at the dumpster? And you're like, no, no.
But, uh, uh, yeah, I'll just put my dick in that hole. Is that what you said? Right there. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Here, go. I really ought to end the stream right there. This is the picture for anyone, <laughs> for anyone walking up. Where's that cop that was around like 18 times the other day? I don't know. Is he Probably, scared? I think his wife died of cancer. Oh my god. <laughs> You're the worst person ever. Why do we go to the world of beer? It's a world of hatred and evil. <laughs> I don't understand it. I don't understand you. <clears throat> what are you doing? You're like, I'm apologizing on Twitter to the world. No. Oh, calm down, you. Okay. 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 All right. Um. Yeah. I was not fucking. I actually didn't even pee in it. I would have theoretically if my shit didn't get have blown ever, up on fucking live stream. Have you, ever, have you ever peed in a public trash can? No. It might be the closest I've ever been right now <laughs> to peeing in a public trash can. I'll give you a, a dollar. Fuck you. I'll, give you, tw- I'll give you twenty dollars. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> I'll give you. $20 if you do it right now. No. On live stream? Are you retarded? No, I won't live stream it, but I will, the live stream will show me watching, and I'll be like, he is definitely for real stupid. No. And then that's it. No. You know what? Here's the thing. Let me out the ante. The moment this ends, I'm going to start, you're going to leave, and I'm going to start the stream again, and it'll just be me looking going, he's definitely doing it. For the rest of my days, I will tell everyone that you peed in there. Uh, that's worth way more than 20 What do you mean? It's Way like, no, more than you're saying, I'm already going to tell everyone that I saw you pee in it. Like, that's done. <laughs> and you get nothing for that. <laughs> but for $20 more. But so now you're blackmailing me. <laughs> but so right, now, right now, just so you know what's <laughs> happening, right now you have moved from a generous, like, I'm a Howard Hughes fucking billionaire offer for something so I, Two fucking uh, blackmail. I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This is the, where we are right now. So you can. Wait, 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 no wait, this reminds me. You can ask fucking Danny about this. Fucking one time, Danny talking to me. He was on fucking one of the live streams. And he was telling about like fucking how when he was out on the road with Blaine, Blaine like to fucking toss around cash for yeah. real to do silly shit. Yeah. And fucking he wound up eating like. Oh, he like, got in a contest with them for like five hundred dollars. Yes. Eating like eight cheesecakes. Exactly. Or some shit. Yeah. yeah. Some retarded thing. Shh, be cool. <laughs> And, uh... Dude, I, told you. The I can't believe, I can't believe woman. you. <laughs> I can't believe you believe me at all. <laughs> you actually hid your beer down? Like, no, yeah, I, I mean, like, we're outside of a bar in there. We're not doing anything illegal. Like, uh, I'm sorry, so anyway, he did uh, cheesecake. So, yeah, and he fucking wound up throwing up. Oh, did he throw up? Yeah, he did. Fucking, what's it called? Like, you're like a low rent version of that. Except like now, like when I wouldn't take your fucking thing, you're like, oh, I'm gonna lie about this shit. <laughs> no, it's like, yeah, no, it's done. I'm gonna claim you did it, so you can make twenty more dollars by actually doing it, and nothing else will change. No, I'm not. I don't. You're <laughs> like my self respect is worth more than twenty dollars. And I'd rather, I'd rather expose you as a blackmailing <laughs> liar. <laughs> Who's gonna Who's gonna accuse me of being a blackmailer liar? Me, on the show, for which is very popular, <laughs> or at least popular in live. P I A T wants to L P in the can. <laughs> He's like, he's like, is there a problem with the stream? They're shouting Piatic. Is that, is that, is that a new picnic is old and now Piatic is the new? <laughs> Whenever the stream goes wonky, shout Piatic. <laughs> Being in the can. Come on. Uh, Come on, man. I think we need to wrap it up because we got to leave. Mm. What? Are you what? <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> won't bread. What the what? Yeah, I agree. We do have to leave, but this was amazing. This is a good. This is a good time. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, diamonds are forever. <laughs> uh, love you guys.
Who says meh? 83. <laughs> oh, oh, that's what I said. I'm like, Brian, meh, what? <laughs> and he's quoting me. So, going, so what, what was like, your record before? Huh? What was your record before? Uh, oh, like like almost 100 or so, like something. All right, so he didn't get over. Well, I don't, I don't know. I, I think at some point we were over 100, but this per, this is unannounced. Like, I think when we were over 100... Was well, then you had just tweeted we, out... We would announce, like, yeah. yeah. We're going to try this thing now. I think we did 150. So probably. this is just totally called only people on Justin TV. Only Justin TV and then who we're, are following We're, we're, we're relying on chat realm you tweeting know what? out. This so is, a bunch of people tweeted Club. out uh, this is the diamond that we're on, yeah. yeah. No, this is Diamond Club. I mean, listen, like, we have we have a, a very, very excited fan base. Like, and I love you guys. Cat Realm is fucking... Want to go in there and steal? Yeah. Is that what steal a world of blue. <laughs> what are you going to do? Go. I'm going to steal. <laughs> the a world, world of beer. beer. <clears throat> I guess we'll just leave these fucking beers here or some shit. Or I guess we, we can, put, uh, we can throw them in the, the can and I'll pee on them. <laughs> <laughs> what you one of these and we'll put it in the can? So, so, so then it's put it in the can, not pee in the can. I wonder how many of those there are planned. <laughs> it's like, put oh, it in I, the just, can. I just accidentally put it in the can. <laughs> in the can. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this has been uh, Diamond Club. Sexual. My name is Justin right, Robert Young. Butt rape. I love you. I'm this Brian. is Brian Brushwood. Brian Brushwood. Eat a billion You can dicks. follow us both at Justin R. Young on